Hey guys, Noelle here and I am back with another video. And I really decided to bring the drama with this one. I haven't done any really dramatic looks on my channel so I thought that I would do one for the holiday. Of course, when you think of the holidays, you automatically just think of red and green. So I decided to go with the latter and come up with a look completely based around the color green. And um, I don't think I had to tell you that. I think you can kind of tell, right? So I did these green smoky eyes and green lips and I hope that you guys like it. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this look and subscribe on your way out. But before you go out, let's continue to watch this video. So I'll be back to you in a second with no makeup on so we can start this look. Okay, to start off this look, I'm going to go in with my Neutrogena Deep Moisture Day Cream to moisturize my skin. For primer today, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX Angel Veil. This primer does leave a bit of a white cast, but it goes away as soon as you put foundation over it. And I really love it because it allows for a really smooth base for your foundation. Now to make sure that my pores are filled, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer, as per the use. And with this, I'm just going to warm it up between my fingers because it can be kind of thick. So sometimes this can be hard to move around and I'm going to press this into my problem areas. And I'm gonna put this over my nose to fill in the pores that I have in that area. Also rubbing it in my smile lines, cause we don't need no smile lines. And to fill in my brows, I'm gonna use my Dip Down Fluid Line by MAC. I'm gonna use my MAC Show Off Brow Gel. and I'm going to clean them up with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. I'm gonna take this Crown Brush C459 just to blend that concealer out. To prime my eyes today, I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base, and I'm gonna apply it with that same Crown Brush C459. And I'm also applying this up into the crease, almost to the brow bone. I'm going to set the primer on my eyes with my Makeup Forever HD Translucent Loose Powder. And I'm also setting the concealer underneath my brows. So in the crease today, I'm going to start with Dandelion by MAC. This is one of my favorite yellow shades. And I'm just building that color up to the intensity that I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and take Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. I wanna do more of like a reddish brown. But I do think that the yellow gives it something really cool to transition into. And I'm using my MAC 224 brush. Now for the crease, I'm going to be blending these two shades. So I'm gonna go in with the Inglot Shadows in number 385 and 317. I'm just gonna kinda sweep my, my brush back and forth in them and then apply them to the inner and outer portions of my eye. So for the center of the eye, I'm gonna go in with this Inglot number 59 eyeshadow. Before I apply it, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue just to make sure that the full pigment appears on my eye. So I'm just applying this to the center of my lid. Now, just to help the greens blend a little bit better into each other, I'm gonna take this eyeshadow. This is number 477. I'm gonna take this on my 217 and blend this on the sides of the lime green shadow. And I just think that adding this shadow just gives the greens a little bit of a better transition into one another. That's just my opinion. Going in with a little bit of black eyeshadow, I'm taking Noir by Anastasia. And I'm just going to place that right in the crease over here, just to deepen it up a little bit and just to bring some more drama. Some more drama for your mama. Taking Desert Sands and I'm gonna blend everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Gold Glitter by MAC and I'm just going to very sparsely apply that in the center of the lid. I'm just gonna take my glitter glue, just a little bit of it, spread it around on my lid and then apply the glitter over that. Oh, 
Okay, now for the face, it's actually been quite some time since I put my primer on, so I'm going to reapply a little bit of the Tarte primer, warming that up in between my fingers, and I'm going to press that into the skin. You know what, let me put on my lashes. I'm gonna be using Coco Lashes Aerial Lashes. So I'm gonna start off with color correcting. I'm going to use my LA Girl Concealer and Orange Corrector. And I gotta go easy on this one because you know, it likes to come off a little heavy. So a little bit goes a long way with this product. Just a little tap, tap, that's it. And blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I still have so much glitter on my face, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. Cause it just refuses to come off. Like that's the only thing I hate about glitter is that I feel like you can never get it off your face. Doesn't matter what you use, it just doesn't come off. It's like you have to wait over time and it'll come off. So it'll be off in like two days, I don't know. I should put some Carmex on. Or chat, honey. They are chat. That will not be cute underneath the good lipstick, that's for sure. So for foundation, I have really been loving the Makeup Forever HD liquid foundation. I am definitely a stick girl, but this has really been tickling my fancy. So I'm gonna use this one again today. This foundation does come off red on me and I think I just like got a shade too dark, but I don't really mind my foundation coming off dark cause I can kind of even it out with the concealer. And you can still see like the little bit of orange corrector there because I don't put my foundation all the way up underneath my eyes. Just because when you put your concealer on top, it can kind of contribute to it looking really cakey. The less product you have underneath there, the less cakey it's gonna look. So I like to keep my foundation away from directly underneath my eye. I apply it everywhere else and I save that little space there for my concealer just to keep the cake down. We're definitely caked, okay, but we don't gotta look that cake. So I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealers in the shade Toast and Toffee. Sometimes toast is just not enough for me, like it doesn't do the trick. So I add toffee to the inner corners. Put it on my cube as well, put it on my nose. Then I add toast everywhere else around it and I love how these two colors look mixed together. This is not a step that I normally do, but I'm being extra. Blend. Blend for your life. And I'm going back over with the side that I blended out my foundation just to ensure that the edges are really blended and you can't tell where the concealer ends and where the foundation begins, especially around the forehead because then, you know, kind of looks like a sunrise and that's not really the look we're going for. Gotta blend that out. I see a lot of girls with sunsets on your forehead. Okay, we need to get you one of these. Sometimes I'm one of those girls, but we're not gonna talk about that, okay? Sasha girl. Sasha. This is just the best powder for underneath my eyes. It gives me no flashback. No matter what I do, my eyes crease, but this definitely helps with the creasing. So I wanted to try this new Cover Girl powder that I bought. That kind of smells like peppermint, but I'm not too mad at it. This is in the color 120 Translucent Honey. <laughs> This is what it looks like in here. That's the shade of it. it kind of smells like Vicks a little bit. You know, Vicks, it's kind of smells like, or like, I don't know. It has a weird smell to it. But I'm not mad at what it's doing though, like at all. I actually think this is like really, oh, wait a second. It's like shimmery or something. It's kind of shimmery. It has like shimmers in it. But I am not mad at all. I'm not mad at it. Now on to contour, I wanted to dip back into this bad boy. I haven't touched this in a while. I want to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, and I'm going to go ahead and use the contour shade to contour my face. Wherever you apply your contour, that's what you kind of want to draw back. So if you want to look more chiseled, this is what you need to do. I really like this powder. I don't know why I don't use it more. So I'm thinking that I want to turn over a new leaf and actually try to contour my nose. 
because I don't like my nose, but just because if I'm trying to be snatched, it's like snatch yourself all the way, girl. Don't halfway snatch yourself. Is it snatched? Am I snatched yet? I'm gonna kind of blend this out just so that the line is not so harsh. Now going back to the eyes, I'm going to do my lower lash line now. So I'm taking Noir Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hill, and I am applying that to the waterline and also right beneath the lashes. Now going in with the darker Inglat shadow that I used. So I know it's shimmery, but I'm going to go ahead and take eyeshadow number 59 and blend out the under eye. I'm gonna kinda take that like to the outer corner of the eye, just so that it all looks uniform. Now for mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna take that green color. For lips, I wanted to do colored rain ivy. Why not do a green lip? I'm doing a green everything else. Green overload. So I'm going to go in with the highlight shade from the contour kit by Black Radiance. I'm gonna spray this my NYX matte finish finishing spray. Now we're all done. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope the beginning of your holiday season is going great and I hope that you're enjoying it so far. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, girl. Subscribe, okay? Hope you subscribe. You, sub you subscribing? Did you hit the button yet? Did you hit it yet? I will also link my Instagram and Snapchat down below. Thank you guys so much for clicking to watch this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.